All right, now we want to talk about the special sense of vision. So let's go through the anatomy of the eye here. First of all, you've got the eyeball. Notice it's like a ball. So that's the whole eyeball and already falling apart here. Um, that thing that just fell off there is the cornea, but we'll come back to that, that in just a second. I want to get it off this. Does this one not come off the stand? <laughs> okay, never mind. This one doesn't come off the stand. All right, so you have the, corn, the uh, whole eyeball here, and then the white part of your eye is known as the sclera. Then you, you look in and you see a colored part of your eye, and it's actually covered by this uh, covering here known as the cornea. And just like this cornea has a crack in it, yours doesn't get cracks in it, but you can scratch the cornea, and that's a very painful thing. But that cornea protects this colored part of your eye, and on this one, this person has brown eyes, um, and that's known as your iris. So the colored part of your eye is your iris. Pick it up a little bit in the light. And then, is that better? Yeah, there you go. Then in the center of your iris, you've always got a black dot known as the pupil. And that pupil can sometimes be big, but then sometimes it's real small because it's regulating how much light is going into the eye. So if you go in a dark room, the pupil's going to swell up and, and open up. If you go into a very bright sunlight place, your, your pupil's going to close down so that you are always keeping the amount of light in the eye in a homeostatic range. So behind the iris, you're going to find a lens. This is kind of falling apart here. Okay, there's your lens. I'm just going to take that off. And your lens is what's focusing the images into your eye, so you can see those. When you have refractive eye surgery, they're cutting on that and trying to stretch it just right so that it's focusing things. And then uh, behind the lens, you've got this retina, which kind of surrounds this whole fluid-filled thing called the vitreous body. So this is full of a kind of a jelly-like fluid. Um, but then the retina is all this back part here, and it shows the different types of cells that you have on the retina. You have rods and cones. Rods are going to be for black and white vision. Cones are going to be for helping you with color vision. Um, and that's about it. Oh, wait, you also have the optic nerve, which takes all of this information and passes it out through the optic nerve and takes that to your brain, and that's your second cranial nerve. Um, remember, everything is contralateral, so that the optic nerve is going to cross and make that optic chiasma right before um, or right under the hypothalamus. And so you're getting information to the opposite sides of your brain. Um, but that's about it for that. And then also notice on top here, you've got this little cottage cheesy glandular looking stuff there. Well, that's your lacrimal gland. Remember, your lacrimal gland is going to be always located on the superior and lateral aspect of your eye. So you could say this is a right eyeball because the lacrimal gland's location. The lacrimal gland is going to secrete uh, tears, and then those tears flow down into the eye, and then they're going to drain out through a tear duct, which is located in the corner of your eye in that lacrimal bone. So don't confuse the duct down here that drains tears with the gland up here, which produces tears. But that's all you need to know about the eye.